distance between any two points. The two points P1 and P2 have coordinates x1, y1, z1 and x2, y2, z2. We will determine the length of the line segment between points P1 and P2. From P2, draw a line perpendicular to the xy plane. It intersects the plane at point A. From P1, draw a line perpendicular to P2A. They intersect at point B. From B, draw a line perpendicular to the XZ plane. It intersects the plane at point C. From P1, draw a line perpendicular to line BC. The two lines intersect at point D. From point P1, draw a line perpendicular to the XZ plane. It meets the plane in point E. This is x1, the x-coordinate of point p1, and this is x2, the x-coordinate of point p2. Line p1d is equal to x2 minus x1. Using the same method for the y-coordinates of points p1 and p2, the segment db is equal to y2 minus y1. For the right angle triangle P1DB and by Pythagoras theorem, P1B squared is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. From points P2 and A, draw lines perpendicular to the z axis. We will rotate the diagram so that you can see the rectangle formed. You can see that the line segment BP2 is equal to Z2 minus Z1. Now consider the right angle triangle P1BP2. By Pythagoras theorem, P1P2 squared is equal to P1B squared plus bp2 squared. Substitute for the value of p1b squared. We obtain p1p2 squared is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Substitute for the value of BP2 squared, which is Z2 minus Z1 squared. Therefore, segment P1, P2 is equal to the square root of X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared plus Z2 minus Z1 squared.